Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Celebrity Hunger Games. So, I thought this was funny because I came in here looking for Squidward, and I saw him in Professor McGonagall's room, and look at how he's looking. Just, he looks like he's trying to seduce someone, and she looks so violated right now. As we all know, sadly, last episode, we lost the one and the only Tina, and um, let's just, let's... I, I'm not even going to talk about it because I'm upset over it, just as some of you guys are. Hey. All right, so you, no, 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 stop cooking. Stop it. As I was editing last week's video, I realized that now I know the reason why I had the death box is because when they died, nobody could really see it or anything and stop cooking freaking food because nobody could see it and uh, they, nobody else was sad. So, I mean, I guess the death box might return. But for now, you know what? They can s sob all they want. I don't... Harry freaking Potter. Stop. Kendall. You guys are on a diet. <laughs> a very extreme diet. Okay, honey. There is a bush that you can pee in. I don't understand why you guys are making such a big deal out of this. Kendall, I'm literally going to freaking cut your arms off. Okay, that's a bit too savage. But if, you if you're trying to come in... Okay, that's right. Do not try and cook here. Do not try to be smart... Hannah! Oh my god, everybody is a mess right now. Okay, well... You nasty. If they keep on continuing, I'm honestly gonna get rid of this fire, and we're gonna just pretend that there's a fire here, okay? I wanted to have something cute, and you guys just have to ruin it. Okay, that's it. Kendall, you, you've ruined it for everybody else. Nobody can have a cute fire anymore because of you. Oh, shoot. They ruined it, so they're just gonna have a not campfire. I wanted it to be cute, but nope. They're just gonna have a, to look at a naked gnome now. A lot of these guys need to just take care of themselves. I can't control them, so. Are you crying? Oh, look at them getting along. My friend Mihil said to put them in a group, and apparently if they're in a group, they like interact with each, with each other more. So I'm probably gonna actually go ahead and do that. Uh, and hopefully it does work because that would be really cool if they could just interact with each other a bit more um he said that, that like romance and stuff like that happens too but be funny with tina <gasps> oh my god that is so sad like actually have tear in my eye <gasps> oh my god that is so sad see i told you guys he liked tina oh harry unfortunately that will never happen unless her ghost appears or something yeah, y'all just go pee in the bush. Oh, you can actually see him! Okay, this is really creepy, but look. I wonder if I can actually see him in here. Where is his face? Where is his face? Oh! <laughs> okay, anyway. So, since I don't, I don't have to worry about them, you know, eating or anything. <gasps> Wait, what happened to the food that was here? Somebody ate it, but I don't know who did. Hmm, interesting. And Miley's actually been really wanting to woohoo, and I don't know, maybe... I don't know if the, it can happen on their own. I don't know. Maybe it can, I'm not too sure exactly, but since they are in a group, maybe it will. I have no idea. Um, but, like I said, I can't control them, so... We'll just have to see what happens. And Harry's just being depressed over Tina. I know, I know, I know. This ugly fence, I really need to get rid of it because it doesn't do anything anyway, so might as well get rid of it. I'm gonna just speed through this a bit more because we did, the other challenge went by really fast, so we still have a lot of time until the next one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and speed up until it's time for them to eat. I think Harry has something against tents or something, because for some reason he will never sleep in a tent. He only sleeps on these benches. Like, how do you even get a good night's sleep? Who is this? Hannah, why are you bald? Who snatched your weave? Where did it go? Oh my god, what? Alright, so it's about 3 a.m. and I'm gonna go ahead and have Professor McGonagall go and uh, start preparing the meal because she did it around this time last time and I think that'll work out just right. But I think I'm gonna have her eat first before she goes ahead and makes the meal for everybody else. We're gonna go ahead and make some mac and cheese for everybody and hopefully, you know, everybody will enjoy their meal or whoever will be able to get a meal for that matter. 
Oh, every, everybody's just peeing themselves. It's not like they have a bush or anything, but you know, whatever. That bush is getting, oh my, I can't even, like imagine being able to smell that. Oh, that must reek so bad. They're going to be uncomfortable for so, oh, she's hungry. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on the table. So we have eight here, but only six people can eat. So I'm going to go ahead and play the game and we're going to see who gets a meal. All right, Harry, are you coming to eat or what's going on here, bud? Oh, Kendall looks like she's coming in for a meal. Okay, Miley's coming in. I swear if the rock doesn't get it this time. Oh my God. He could die from hunger. <gasps> Starved in 19 hours. Oh my god. Okay, four meals left. Oh, Harry grabbed a piece. I didn't even see him. I just saw him in the corner of my eye. Alright, so three left. Oh, looks like Hannah's coming for it. Okay, two left. Oh my god. If the rock does not get it, he is going to die. <laughs> I've never had a sim- Wait, wait, wait. You better not be grabbing it. Professor, girl, go do something like- I don't know. Go- psh, Have some yogurt. Put it down. Put it- Put it down. Actually, you know what? She can keep that. Because only two meals are left anyway, so- It's okay. Please. Rock. Oh my god, he's getting it. And Lana. Alright, and that is it. So, who didn't get a meal? Squidward didn't get food. Squidward and Harry. Oh my god, what if Harry Potter dies? Oh my god, guys, I'm scared. Okay, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens. So... This is everybody that got a meal. Oh my god. And Miley, right? Miley got. Yeah, Miley got food too. Okay. Alright. Oh my god, guys. I'm so scared. Like, I haven't had a sim die of hunger yet. And I I kind of, I low-key want somebody to die of hunger. But at the same time, I don't. So we'll have to see how things go. But currently they're enjoying their meal. And uh, yeah, so Squidward... Honey, you better take care of yourself. Oh, he's already preparing himself a meal. What are you making, French toast? Oh, yeah. You clearly don't know how to cook. Anyway, so after they finish their meal, I'm gonna get them prepared for their challenge today. Oh my god. Can you guys learn to pee in the bush? There's gonna be just puddles everywhere. Oh, okay, they've dried up. Thank god for the sun, am I right? Oh my god, you guys. All right, Lana, finish up your food so I can get ready for the challenge. All right. So today's challenge is going to be the fishing challenge. So originally I had the rules being that whoever catches the most expensive fish will win and whoever will catch the cheapest fish will lose. After recording this episode, I realized that um, that wasn't really a reliable way to uh, find out who wins and who loses. So I based it off of weight instead, which you guys will see. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the rule. So whoever catches the biggest fish will win and whoever catches the um, smallest one will lose. All right, so I have the fishing area set up. Now this should hopefully work. It may be a bit glitchy, but hopefully it all works um, as I plan. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and teleport them all here. All right, so now they should all be able to fish and we'll see who catches fish, okay. So once they catch a fish, I'm gonna quit them. I'm gonna have them stop fishing and we'll see. Oh, Kendall caught something, but it's not a fish. Oh, Miley caught a fish. Harry apparently can't fish here, but um, I don't care. You're gonna, oh, I didn't mean to do that for you. You're gonna keep fishing until you catch a fish. I don't care. I might have to do it off based off the size instead. Um, but for now, we're just going to see. Oh, looks like Kendall caught a big fish there. Okay, maybe we shouldn't have it based off of price, because I didn't know fish can be worth zero simoleons. What? Oh, Dwayne can't catch. Okay, everybody is apparently... Okay, I have to just boost up her bladder just a little bit. That's it. Come on, squid. Maybe somebody will catch Kendall. We'll see how much she's worth. Oh, Lana caught a fish. All right. Good job, Lana. All right, you can stop fishing. Oh, Dwayne caught a fish as well. Harry, please. 
Oh, he's too uncomfortable. Hold on. I'm not going to boost his hunger. I'm only going to boost his bladder because that is... Oh, no. He can't fish. I'll boost his hunger for now, but I'll put it back down after he catches a fish, okay? That's all I'm saying. I just need him to catch a fish. That's all I need from him. Harry caught a fish. All right. You're, you're all set. All right, so now it's between... Harry Potter, Squidward, and Hannah to see who will catch the next fish. Okay, girls, can you stop swimming in here? You're honestly starting to bother me. Oh, he caught a chest, but not a fish. Come on, dude. Let's go. Squidward caught a rose. Honey, that is not a fish, though. Oh, Harry caught one. Okay, you're done. You can go. All right, let me put down his hunger for wherever it was. I think it was, like, somewhere... I just want to make sure I don't put it. Oh no. I didn't mean to do that. Oh no. I didn't mean to do that. Will he die? No! I didn't mean to! How do I bring him back to life? Oops. Maybe I shouldn't have played with that mod. <laughs> dang it! Okay, well maybe I can bring him back? Gosh dang it, Nicole! Alright guys, so here's my plan. So, since I accidentally just killed Harry Potter, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark down everybody's fish so we know um, what they left off on. So I'm not gonna have to completely record it. I'm just gonna like... I'm gonna have to start all over, of course, because I'm not gonna save this because I don't want Harry to die. And um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to have everybody who was meant to eat the meal will eat a meal and so on and so forth. So, uh, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and check on everybody's fish. And we'll see. Um, oh, did Hannah not catch one? Okay, Hannah didn't catch one. So I'm just going to write these down and, uh, yeah. So you guys just saw... Um, so everybody who's caught in a fish and their scores and everything. And so I'm going to have to play through everything and uh, bring Harry Potter back to life because, oh my god. I can't believe I did that. I'm so stupid. <laughs> okay, here we go. At least he caught a fish so we don't have to worry about a fish for him, which is good. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and I'll be back. Alright guys, so I was able to play through the time. Everything's going to happen a bit earlier. Now, like I said, I've obviously these sims don't have the fish, but since I already did it last time, I don't want to have to repeat it all over again. So all I'm going to have is Hannah and Squidward come over here and fish, and we'll see what type of fish they catch. And from that, we'll figure out who um, dies today. So I have, the, I have the other stuff written down, and I also, you guys have already seen... Um, everybody's fish so oh my god he is in such a bad mood honey why don't you just take care of yourself why are you reading instead of sleeping you know what i won't be surprised if he dies maybe he should maybe that death was just like a sign or something i don't know but um i'm just gonna wait for them to catch a fish and uh hopefully it'll be sooner than later oh she caught one okay cool all right, now you can go. Scooter caught a fish. Perfect. Okay. So, let me go ahead and write these down. All right. So, good thing that I decided to do it off of the weight of the fish instead of the pricing. Because a lot of them are 0 and $5. And we would have had a bunch of ties. So, based off of the weight, Dwayne Johnson's goldfish came at 0.11 kilograms. Which is the lowest weighted fish that they all caught so looks like Dwayne Johnson won't be with us any longer today unfortunately oh my god I was actually hoping he would make it towards the end are you kidding me and that makes that makes Miley the winner because her goldfish was at was 0 0.34 kilogram all right oh my god I'm so glad I didn't have them fish again because this is so tedious it's not even funny Miley, you are now the winner, so you can go ahead and head on in here. This is where you belong. All right. This is so good. Okay, so Miley won challenge number three. Okay, and Dwayne, unfortunately, you are going 
down. Now, honey, I'm so sorry. Oh, I forgot. I didn't get rid of the fence again. Oops. Well, this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna get rid of this fence. And, uh, Dwayne, I'm, I'm sorry, bud, but, ooh, teleport here, and we're gonna say goodbye. You know what? Wait, hold up. All right, so I made this death room, and hopefully this will be a lot easier um, to deal with, you know, um, them not all being depressed all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and teleport him over here, and this is where he's going to die. All right, so are you ready, Dwayne? Oh, I don't think he's ready. <gasps> okay, Dwayne, I'm so sorry, but here we go. Oh my god, as he's doing push-ups. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Wayne! Oh my god. Yeah, see, now nobody's gonna see him. Oh, wait, just kidding. Oh, she said, okay, that's good. They can't get to him, so they won't be sad. Okay, this is good, this is good. Okay, yeah, there we go. Looks like Death Room is a must in this series because. <gasps> okay. Oh, you think that's funny? Well, we've lost our third contestant. So I went ahead and wrote on his tombstone, I wrote, Rest in peace, The Rock. Your body still looked excellent even when you were dying. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh my god, I can't believe... Yeah, so everything's gonna happen early. So what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna play through um, the date and I'll meet you guys into the next episode around, you know, towards when they're going to be eating because, I mean, I can't really do much now. So, yeah, because everything just happened way too early because, again, it was all my fault. <laughs> I accidentally killed somebody and, you know, it's my fault. But, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off here. Congratulations, Miley, on winning this challenge. Um, you know, maybe Miley has it. I mean... I'm honestly surprised that more people weren't rooting for her, and maybe she'll take the win. Who knows? So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't already, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon. Bye, guys.